Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode. Oh, wait. Okay, there you go. There was a black screen for a half second there. I apologize. Anyways, uh, on our train of playing as the Keeper, I'm going to play as the Keeper. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play as uh, the Tarnished Keeper because we've just been kind of on a train as playing as the uh, the Keeper in various forms. And I haven't played Tarnished Keeper or Kane or G I haven't played any of the Tarnished characters in a little while, to be honest. So maybe we'll do a few of these back to back. I know you guys enjoy the modded characters. Um... <clears throat> We'll try and introduce more of that. I do want to try and add more modded characters to the roster. Um, I think I'm gonna. That's something I'm gonna kind of look into soon. Um, I obviously need to get thumbnails and stuff done for them, so we'll see. Uh, but we do have um, good old tarnished keeper, good to go. I quite like him. We've got quite a lot of the unlocks as him. It looks like we're gonna be doing either beast or mother this time around. Um, yeah, let's see if I can remember how to play as this guy, sir. So, Obviously, um, kind of works the same way as the Tainted Keeper, where we're going to get coins on killing things. But we have Turnover, which is basically going to be a way of us generating shops, which we can use in item rooms to get various stuff. Also, apparently, we can get coins on hitting enemies too, which I kind of forgot about. Um, yeah, you just got to kind of see, obviously, a lot of the stuff we touch turns into money. That's also part of this guy's whole shtick. Um, but in here, for 10 cent, we can grab one of these pile of bones um it's not very good i'm gonna go for that again and see what we get um we did get the loaded d6 unused rerolls pedestals into um rerolls pedestal items into in the current room into copies of your items you're already holding that seems pretty cool um i think i'm gonna buy that of course i do need to actually get the money to be able to do that first um, and then this guy has regular shops. Um, but there you go. I, th I think we'll take the loaded D6. It sounds pretty fun. Um, turning stuff into copies of stuff you already have. Of course, we end up getting a room where it's going to be virtually impossible for us to get any of the money. It's real fun when that happens. A um, <laughs> little bit of a bummer there. Whoopsie. Did manage to turn that guy into gold. Though. Again, more enemies where we can't get the coins. Oh, ah, I got that one. Stole it. Oh, no. I got hit. I just remembered getting hit makes you lose like all of your money. So the loaded D6 might actually be out of uh, out of the question for us. I guess we'll see. Um, I've got to not get hit and hopefully kill a lot more enemies. I can't remember how much the boss normally gives. Um, damn you. Enemies where I can't get your coins. <sighs> if we can't get this loaded D6, I'm going to be super miffed. I really shouldn't have got hit there. Um, could we buy my donation machine? I've been really abusing the hell out of the donation machine recently. I know that I have unlocks to get for it, but yeah, we can. I'm going to do this. It should give us 10 cent. Um, yeah. Oh, no, it didn't. Damn. Damn. Okay, I, I have to not get hit against the boss now. Otherwise, I'm in for a, I'm in for a big sad. I'm in for a very big sad if I get hit by the boss here. So let's... Uh, Let's hope and pray we don't. That's a penny there, but I'm not going to mess around with it. Okay, yeah, this guy over here is annoying. Try and take him out. Oh, for... <laughs> for fuck's sake, what did I just say? What did I just say? I I'm literally face planting against him now because I, I, I actually don't care if I die. This, this run means nothing to me anymore. Let me fade away into that sweet night, please. Because I am uninterested in this BS. I guess I could farm this guy for a little bit, but it could take a while. What's wrong with me? Actually, can someone diagnose me? Because there is neurological issues with my brain. He's the easiest boss to dodge. Just don't get fucking hit by him. Oh my god, no. Not doing it. Go away. Not having it. <sighs> god damn. God damn. Let's uh let's just do that again and pretend nothing happened there. Uh that was that was legitimately awful. Why am I so bad at this game recently? It makes me upset. That that loaded D6 could have been so cool. Like, there was potential for that. Oh, look, I got hit again. Wowee. Wowee. Just don't get hit, you fool. I'm being too salty recently. I really am. But the game. 
It doesn't doesn't do me any favours in that department. It really doesn't. It gives me rooms with these little fellas that jump coins all over the, the goddamn place. That little monster here. Wow factor is something I'm not willing to take. Okay, grab money from those guys, see what we get. I mean, I think Dr. Fetus is probably the right choice. Let's see if we can actually get Dr. Fetus here. It's kind of scary with their quad shot. It's going to be very low fire rate. You gotta not get hit against these guys. Just take it easy. I think I think one thing that I'm really doing quite often in Isaac at the minute is I'm playing a little bit too fast and loose. I'm not really taking the time to, to sort of think about my decisions and think about how, how I'm playing the game. And it's it's really causing me to take damage that I shouldn't often. Like these guys here, we can play this very, very slow. They're champions, so they're going to drop extra coins, but that doesn't mean we have to pick up all the extra coins. Oh, I was like, let's use our bomb against this, and I realized that there's no need to do that. I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have extra bombs anytime now. Yeah, I managed to get that lovely. Oof, right. Over this way. What was the other item in the item room? I can't remember what it was now. Sack dagger's kind of interesting. Check out our shops. We bombed on a donation machine last run for literally no reason. Little bit upsetting to have done that, I guess. Check for secret room where there might be a secret room. Here we are. I guess that's not bad. Oh, I mean, technically it's not bad because we get money. I need to remember that I need to create shops in regular rooms. Also, by the way, look at our little golden top hat. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Right. So we are going to obviously potentially take self-damage with this setup. There's, there's definitely an uh, inherent bit of risk to all of this. Wait, does this... Oh, no way. I was like, this could be so good, and then it turns into fucking money. Heck you, game. Heck you. That could have been so good. Bob's bladder with this setup, I'm pretty sure it does work. Now, one problem that I'm immediately seeing here is actually getting our money might be a little bit tricky um, in a lot of scenarios, especially if there's, like, groups of enemies. I think that's going to be a significant problem for us. But money-wise, looking at it now, we're pretty good. Stop jumping directly over the bombs, please. Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. For all the pennies turns into a bit of nothing. I guess I'll go for a, a turn down here and see what we get. Block memories, I'm going to take. Um, also, this is an incredibly good trinket for us because we no longer need keys. Um, we can just bomb into every single door and it'll open for us. We're going to try and do mother here. Oh, that's kind of rude. <laughs> that didn't really work out. I mean, it kind of gave us our money back, so it wasn't terrible. Um, I could go and do the item room again, but I think I'll just carry on and keep the HP that I've got. Hopefully we can get some speed going on soon, but yeah, let's just go down. But yeah, having this trinket, very, very good, because uh, now we no longer need keys, which is very positive for us because we no longer have to mess around with shops in regular rooms. We just bomb every door open. Um... Doesn't matter which we take here, does it? Apparently I took the right one. Didn't mean to buy that bomb, obviously. Um, I will definitely take you. I'll do this one more time, see what we get. Um, chance to fire a purple fire, which gives enemies care status. They take extra damage. Um, I think both of these are pretty good. I'm going to take both. What's this here? Okay, that's fine. Excuse me. He popped out some friends. Okay, still have to be a little bit careful. I, may, I mainly took my uh, my buddy here because he's cute. He's not actually that useful. We had so much money, it felt like, why not? 
Oh god, that guy actually hit me. Good on you, sir, I guess. I was not expecting that. I have to be careful as not to hit my donation machine there. I suppose I could use this run to donate a lot as well and give a bit back if I need to. Okay, take our time here. Kind of an awkward situation in this room here. Get back over here. Yeah, getting our coins is honestly going to be such a pain for us. Such a pain, but it's okay. It's okay. As for the question of the day, what's an item of clothing that you have that is like by far your favorite and why is it? For me, I, I have, I don't wear it as much anymore, but I have this like gray, it's sort of like a gray staticky type top. Like I don't have to describe the, the material, not material, but like the pattern type. It kind of looks like TV static and then it's got black sleeves, uh, short sleeves. And I really like it because it's like, it's a top that I've worn to a few different events that um, it eventually became the top that I wear to events because I'd sort of realised in photos I was wearing it so often. Um, and also it like just makes me look really good. <laughs> it like hides, hides my chubber and I appreciate that. Um, so that's definitely my favourite one. Hey, that's the secret room. Okay, this is, this is still a really good run though we've got going on here. Extra bombs is just money here, so I don't mind that at all. Good. good. Should be blowing all of these up for, for items, because items are money. Okay. Good to know. And good to go. But situations like this, we're going to lose money because we're going to kill the whole room and not be able to get anywhere. Once we get some speed ups, that'll be like, like heavily alleviated. But we can't like rely on that yet. That's just going to be something that comes as it comes sort of thing. Fairly hard boss here. Luckily, the setup means we can kill him pretty easily. We did get Devil Deal. I can't remember how good Devil Deal is in this situation. We've got a lot of money, so I'll go for it. We've got a golden multi-dimensional baby here, which I think is actually kind of worth. That is not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. I kind of forgot about bombing you. Honestly, Conjoint might not be the greatest for us here. You are, you are taking a lot more to kill than I would have expected, I'll be honest, my good friend. Um, we won't be taking that. We don't need it. And we'll do turnover. False PhD is not really necessary for us. I think that's pretty darn good. Um, even with our low damage, I think I'll take that. And we'd be left with 18 left. So I'm going to do this one more time. And I'm pretty happy with you as well. Yeah, conjoined is gonna is probably gonna create some issues for us, I would imagine. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit spooky. It's gonna be a little bit spooky. Cause uh, now we're firing extra bombs that I sort of wasn't planning on firing. But two conjoined babies is interesting. Certainly. Ow. Whoa! What the hell's this little dude? Oh, this is part of the better uh, better transformations mod. Basically, uh, when we pick those up, we get an extra buddy for a room. Pretty interesting. It's the YV boy. The YV boy. And then yeah, a little a little fella's doing his thing. I'll just go straight for the boss here. Not where I was hoping you'd jump up. Dude, what the hell? This guy's like bomb resistant, what the hell? Lucky Penny, I want. Probably shouldn't have done this actually because of the fact that I got a devil deal here. 
not the greatest, now I don't really have the money for it, for doing this. Damn it, I'm going to blow up the thingy again. I don't want to blow up that guy. That's pretty good, I'll take it. We'll get out of here. Okay, a little bit spooky. This run has, has really got some, some significant risk associated with it. Guppy's head helps. I'm not going to take those pennies yet because I can't get in here otherwise. That just gives us money. I, I guess it's worth it. Oh, it's literally free. Okay. Turns up to two collectibles into, in the room into a choice between devil and angel item. Oh, okay, really? And it got rid of the money as well. And the money in here is gone. Damn it, that all went so poorly. That all did not go the way I was hoping it would. I kind of forgot the money disappears. Missing out on so much money, it's kind of insane. Also, the fact that these things spawned by conjoined transformation actually uh, just turn into money is not bad at all. I do not mind that. Um, no thanks. I guess I could use turn down in there, but I don't think it's super necessary. We need to do our mirror room um, at some point. Luckily, we have Holy Mantle now, so that's not as big of a, a problem as it used to be. We no longer have to have that fear. Hurt myself with a bomb. I knew it was coming at some point. We knew it was coming at some point because, honestly, this setup, it just lends itself to us hurting ourselves a lot. God damn, this is a bad enemy for me. Look how many nickels I missed out on then. I need speed. Please, just give me some speed. Um, we'll take whatever the other item is because it's higher quality. Dude, stop spawning enemies, please. Oh my god, I can't be dealing with this. Lily is terrible. Um... Oh, these are bad. Lodestone, potentially interesting. When given a choice between uh, items, you may take them all. I'm going to take that over the lock thing. The lock thing's really good, but because we're on the alt path, that, that provides a lot of benefit to us. Whoa, what the fuck? That was strange. But turn like the entire room into gold or something. Unfortunately, our room is a little ways away, and I'm just very worried I'm gonna kill myself with uh, with bombs. That is my my main concern right now. I'm just gonna end up bombing myself a ton. Luckily, a lot of extra dollar there to keep us going. God damn, so much extra money there! Wow. Just gotta really keep my distance from things. The uh, guppy's head helps a lot though. It's not like insane damage, but it's it's decent. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I couldn't fire in that situation because I was too close to everything. But then this guy showed up. Oh my god. <laughs> so scary. These little dudes look. Yeah, normally they give you a, a familiar for the room, but in our situation, they just give us a lot of money. It's kind of great. Right. I try to check something. Does this work in here? It does. I'm going to take this because it's an extra guppy item. And. <laughs> Cricket's body. Do I really want it? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. I'll sabotage my run. Why not? Why would I do this to myself? Oh my god. I want to go for like wins, but I just, I can't help myself when an opportunity like this is available to me. Like, also this guy is reasonably survivable. We just got to make sure we have a lot of money. Right, let's get going. 
<laughs> also, by the way, I do realize that the open mind giving us more, cho like, being able to take all the choices isn't actually good for items. It's just good for money. Like, it it's not going to give me any more items because I can't actually take the items, but it's good for money, so I don't care. I have to be very knowledgeable and remember that that's going to happen each time. Because otherwise I'm going to walk. I'm going to blow stuff up and then walk straight into those explosions. I guarantee I hit myself quite a lot throughout the course of this. But it's all part of the, part of the fun, right? It's all part of the fun. Damn it. We need flight. Flight would be useful. Golden penny? Oh, really? Can you give me a golden penny and then that happens? I should do turn down here to, uh, I was going to say get a key. Sadly, I was mistaken, apparently. I'm thinking I could get a key here. Ex excuse me? Oh, there's a fucking spider there. God damn it. Oh, can these guys stop doing what they're doing, please? It's very, very difficult to actually hit them when all this is going on. Have I hit, have I killed these guys yet? No. Oh, give me a fucking key game. Don't be like this. There you go. Got a delirium looking book here. What's this book? Weird book. Mimics books. Touch a book pedestal to mimic it. Cycle through books. Ooh, really cool. Obviously can't use it here, but that's a really cool idea. Lots of money there. Good. I guess I'll buy this other key. Oh, God. The risk that I've introduced to this run is uh, is insane. Basically cover the entire room in explosions. And yeah, still no speed upgrade. Really need that. Like, we're just going to get no money if we don't get a speed upgrade soon. Don't like the way you function, bucker. Sadly, a key's only giving us three pennies. Not really enough. Oh god, this room is absolutely full of enemies. I've got to have such a wide berth as well. My goodness. <laughs> I'm hoping people like the, the, the fact that I do this sort of shit. This is so bad. Like, I'm hoping people like the fact that I take these absolutely ridiculous risks. <laughs> people aren't just really mad. It's like, oh my god, you threw away such a good run by taking this. It's like, eh. I think it's funny. Yes, yeah, so, so see, now we get both the items. This is a terrible room for this turn down, by the way. Terrible room. What the hell is this other item over here? I'm having to go through the bombs to see what it is. I guess I'll take that. Why not? A terrible room for that. Do not like that at all. But yeah, extra money in those rooms is quite nice. Good, good. Get that key. Three extra coins. It's not a lot, but it's something. Oh, no. Oh, apparently, I have a holy mantle going as well right now. Apparently, if you get a HP up, it gives you a little holy mantle. You can see that little ring around us. A little golden ring. So, uh, yeah. Apparently, whenever we collect a HP up, we get one of those. So, that's pretty useful to know. Makes HP ups a little bit more valuable than they would be on, like, the Lost or the regular Keeper. Not quite sure what's going on right now, I'll be honest. Did those enemies die? I think so. Oh, it goes so hard to get money. <laughs> Just, I'm just so slow. I should get that secret room there as well. Lovely. It's a bed. Does a bed do anything for us? I doubt it. How did that not hit you? I don't think a bed does anything for us, but I'm going to sleep in it anyways. There's achievements for sleeping in bed so many times, so... Right. 
Okay, Reap Creep, how easy are you going to end up being? Is it is it Lodestone that's making the bombs, like, curve towards the enemy? It feels like it like that's what was just happening there. Damn it, I've taken this by accident. I shouldn't have really taken that. Up to nine now, no, I guess. Right. In here we go. Not what I was hoping to see. The fires are my biggest concern, I'll be honest. Okay, so we've got a bunch of money that we don't need right now. We can leave on the floor. Oh, wait, what? No? That, that money disappears too. Okay, did not know that. I thought that money stuck around. Um, so, this normally is real fucking good. But, I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to pick it up anyways and see. Okay, no, it did still work. Good. It did still work. That mod's a bit bugged right now. Um, unfortunately, we can't take both of these. I think Lusty Blood's the better one out of the two. Um, and I think we're just going to go. Right. We've got a good amount of damage up going there. Our damage was actually really, really low. So, it's nice to have a bit more damage now. Because these bombs do scale off damage. And obviously, our Guppy's head does too. And then if we get the actual Guppy transformation, that will too. I lost my holy mantle there. That's fine though. We don't need the holy mantle really. I mean, obviously it's better to have it than not, but we don't need it. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, we got the speed to get there. Still no speed up though. We will never have speed up. Okay, these enemies are slightly annoying because we can't kill them unless they're flipped. Luckily, bombing them does flip them automatically. Oh my god, <laughs> this is such a troubling run. I really love it. Oh, why? Why did I even think that would even remotely work? Stupid me. Right, unfortunately, again, turnover, not a great room for it. I'm going to just blow up all these rocks. We've got space. Mad Onion. Uh, I don't think that does anything for us. We'll replace that. Mother's Spine is good. A key is good. I'm going to do one more. Um, Cornhead should give us a, a Holy Mantle. It didn't. Okay. Maybe it's only on Black Heart then, and I'll buy that. Now, also, I don't think Parasitoid does anything for us here, but I'm going to try it out regardless. That only gave me one coin, sadly. Okay, that worked, which is cool. A little hand coming up. I didn't know if that would or not. Cool to see that it does. Okay. And yeah, the damage going up is very, very nice here. We need, kind of, we need Spectral, really. Spectral would, would reduce, it'd make it hard to hit enemies, but massively reduce the risk of us hitting ourselves. Which I think is an uh, all-round positive. So the risk of us hitting ourselves right now is very, very high. <laughs> this is one of those episodes that's like, the commentary is just going to be very Isaac-centric, just because of the nature of the run. I have to kind of focus quite heavily on making sure that I don't hit myself. So it's hard to sort of get as off topic as I normally would. I don't get super off topic most of the time anyways, but still, you know what I mean. Normally there's a bit of jib jab and stuff, but this one's like all about the Isaac. Don't think this does anything for us. Um, rest of the rooms here aren't super required. I, I guess I could get more money, which I probably should have done. That's quite nice that we can like cover a whole damn room in shots. We're not going to get much money out of kills here, I wouldn't think. It's a little bit hard to get towards the enemies there. Oh, bastard. I'm, I'm so glad I didn't get hit there. I really don't know how I didn't. Okay, these guys are jumpers. I'm going to do his little, yep, teethy thing. There's some bombs up there for some reason. I'm not quite sure where they came from. I'm guessing a champion. Chill out, my guy. Ah, ah, ah! I didn't realize there was a, like, wasn't a gap in the middle there. That blood patch completely covered it. Like, the white and the blood, it all covered it. I couldn't see. 
That didn't, that didn't give us a holy mantle either, so I'm a bit confused on the whole holy mantle idea that was uh, proposed to me by someone. It doesn't seem to be working out the way that, that I was uh, understanding it, because that was a HP up that I just picked up. Although I, su I suppose I didn't technically get... Yeah, I suppose I didn't technically pick it up. Come on. Why do the hands take so fucking long? Dude, as if I got hit then. As if I got hit then and I accidentally activated the angel too. This is going to be so bad. Get away from me. Okay, whatever all this white shit is, I think it's from Parasitoid. Don't like it. It's covering up costs and stuff, right? One sec. Okay, I'm back. So I'm not quite sure what to do here because Ivy Occult's, well, uh, Ocular Restore is good. Sacrificial Altar is also really good, but I'm kind of scared that Sacrificial Altar will just spawn items that then turn into into money. Like, that's kind of what I'm expecting to happen, I'll be honest. So I think I'm just going to take this and then go. Um, but yeah, that's, that's almost fully what I expect to happen, I'll be honest. Um, wait, how does this door work? Okay, it, it, it just takes off a bit of money from us, that's fine. Uh, remember, we don't need the second knife piece. I have a mod to make sure I don't need it. Uh, right, okay. So, things are looking good. Things are looking good. We've got quite a few cool tier effects going on, which I quite like. Got XL floor this floor. Um, I'll take a hug from you, I guess. And the rest of you, I'll just bomb. And hope for the best. Oh, the rifts spawn exactly how I was hoping they'd spawn. Oh, although the rifts are slightly problematic because they suck out of the bombs in, so... Also, are these rifts infinite? They are not going away. That's interesting. Those rifts were uh, somewhat permanent by the looks of it. Oh, God. Slightly iffy room here. That white stuff on the floor from Parasitoid is going to be very problematic for me, I think. Okay. We'll get through. We'll get through. So it seems that the rifts are pretty, pretty damn low spawn chance, which is kind of fine. I think it did say 5% at base luck, and we're less than base luck, so... It's understandable. Right, just gotta get through this floor, hope for the best. Didn't see the brimstony boys there. So yeah, those rifts are just gonna kinda stay there now. It seems that the, the ones spawned by Cricket's body bombs are just like permanent, which is weird. Don't know how I wasn't hit there. <gasps> Look, Penny, no! <laughs> that was so useful to us. Very intriguing. I mean, it makes getting money a little bit easier, I guess, in a way. Okay. This is all sorts of jank. All sorts of jank. It's gonna make the boss fight particularly difficult, I, I reckon. Sticky nickels stick around for a lot longer there, I saw. You fire so many bombs, it's kind of insane. You can tell that it's the Cricket's body ones that spawn that because it's like that cross pan. Dude, I'm getting kind of sick of rooms like this because they just do not work for this character at all. Like, how the fuck am I meant to spawn items in here with turn down? Like, oh my god, bomber boy. <laughs> imagine it, imagine it. Like, this is just kind of evil. I can't spawn items in here and do anything with this room. I randomly got Ghost Baby here. Wait, have I just screwed myself? I don't think I can get past it. Wait a minute, I, I think I can. One sec, one sec. No, it dropped my trinket. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck. 
I can't do it. Uh, do you turn over again, just in case. Okay. Using turn over again worked. And that's a speed up. That's a speed up. Okay, somehow this all worked out. I can't get my goddamn trinket back though. Fuck you. Evil game. I want you back, trinket, not over there. Oh, lord. Dude, trinket, how could you do this to me? Wait, can I get you now? Yes. Fuck me. That was an absolute pain. <laughs> Yeah, root, stop designing rooms like that. It makes this character impossible to play properly. I don't like it. I'll make sure this guy has dedicated item rooms so, he, so that you can utilize his tactics correctly. Very annoying when stuff like that happens. Take this just because it's thingy. Uh, we could do some secret rooms shopping, I guess. I guess it's in the cards for us. We'll see how much money we have by the end of the floor. Maybe we want to, maybe we don't. Honestly, these little cherry dudes are perfect for us. Yeah, let's do a few let's do a few pops in the secret room here. I mean that could could pay out pretty well. Soul of the keeper. It most certainly did. Sackhead? Sackhead's pretty good, right, I think. Misprinted two of clubs I don't really care about. And I'll do one more pop in here, maybe? Ah, nothing. Okay, we are out of here. We are out of here. Yeah, I think Sackhead's pretty good because I think it means that we'll uh, get more consumables, which means we can turn them into even more money. Yeah. Also, it looks like the sacks don't disappear either. Is even better. Don't think we need scapula, do we, there? Ooh, you can buy sulfur in this room. Interesting. I'm sorry, my guy. I hurt myself there. Don't really know how. The phrase, hurt itself in confusion, is very apt for this situation. Ah! Just the confusion is heavy. Yeah, Sackhead's going to be real good for us, I think. It's going to be a lot more money overall, and mean that money doesn't fade away as easily. Okay. That's very good. Very, very good indeed. Neither of them are that worth it. Um, I guess that's kind of useful. I think it'll give us a yeah, give us a holy mantle as well. And I'll do one more in here. Oh, I can't do. I, I'm at my max in this room. That's fine. Some rooms I can just kind of idle. Don't have to use any bombs. So I've got to have a bit of extra speed now. It's not even that much, but it helps. Helps quite a lot. I've got a lot of spiders going on. I'm guessing Parasitoid is doing some good shit here. Or is that from the... T oh, wait. I think this is from the Tiny Turma thing that I just picked up, you know. Look how, many of the, look how many of the chunks I have flying around me right now. It's a lot. Don't quite know what I managed to do there. Just gonna leave that bomb there. I don't want to risk it. Okay, not too bad. That room scared me a little bit. Oh wait, no, no, no. I see, I see. I do actually have to, dude. A little shithead. Um, where's the other button I've got to press here? Is it here, dude? This little fucking. My God, did not like that room. Okay. 
Okay, right. Warp zone. Oh, I forgot we got double bosses here. Once the uh, thingy uh, portals open up, this guy becomes a lot easier. Or any boss, really, because it's kind of hard to miss at that point. I don't really know what's going on right now, because isn't the boss dead? Like, why is, why is this still happening? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, I see. There's some shenanigans happening right now. Are you dead? You want to perish, friend? There you go. <laughs> Took a little while we got there in the end. <clears throat> oh my lord. That noise. Why are they infinite? Does anyone know why they're infinite? Damn it, I gambled and I gambled wrong. It's okay though, we got it in the end. And we'll take the negative here, of course. Take this. Oh, but we can take the Polaroid and the negative. That's pretty cool. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that. Lodestone plus Ocular Rift is such a good combo. So much, so much like power to suck enemies in. Right. Things are going reasonably well so far. Things are going reasonably well. More so than I would have expected. Now, not having mapping here definitely hurts. What's going on exactly? Oh, you're stuck around a tiny bit of rock, I see. Did you manage to survive that, you little shit? Oh, no, no, no! I fired bombs and the ore got stuck back into the rifts. I, that's something I've got to be very careful of. That's going to screw me over so often. I'm going to fire them and there's going to be rifts there and it's just going to eat them up. Once the rift spawns, basically everything gets eaten by the rift. Good thing is, we have money for days now. Beautiful. How are the spiders surviving this? Come on now. I know you're small, but like, it's a bit, a bit rude. Um, let me just pop, turn over and get a key here. Eh, not great. Hopefully we're going the right way here, or at least somewhat the right way. It, it kind of feels like it. I see a little maggot. I'm sure I'll let this guy take care of you. Thank you. There you go. This is the right way. Awesome. Oh, my God, bomb. Wow. Don't know how I wasn't hitting the end of all of that. Morbid heart? Yeah. Fortunately, doesn't do anything for us regardless. <laughs> this guy could be tricky, but... Uh, no, he's dead. <laughs> I had a concern. Why do I keep taking this stuff before... I don't know. This is stupid. Go in here first. Don't care about either of these. I mean, seems like a no-brainer. What the hell's this little dude? Reaper Bum. Collect souls as you kill enemies will occasionally give you burn orbitals, wisps, tarot card runes, and burn hearts. Pretty cool, but not something we need. Um, and we'll do one more. What does Brimstone do in this situation? It can't be bad, right? I mean... Technically, it's not bad. Um, likewise, it's not great. Likewise, it's, it's really not great. <laughs> oh lord, what have I done? I've turned a guaranteed run into something quite cursed. I mean, it'll kill everything, that's that's for sure. But, um... Probably gonna cause issues and make getting money a little bit, little bit tough. 
Fuck, what have I done here? This is so bad. I can't fire a bomb at these guys to kill him. It's just not... It's not wise at all. I don't know what to think anymore. This this is potentially over. Because I can kill every room really easily, but if I get hit, I'm going to lose coins, and I have realistically no guaranteed way to get coins back at all. Like, I'm stuck in this little corner here. Oh, I suppose sacks and stuff won't disappear, though. Okay, no. I should be fine with all the sacks and stuff that I get, to be honest. I didn't really think about that. Okay. I should be okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever had, a, like, a, a combo that fires this many brimstones before. This is absolutely absurd. God damn. One second. Yeah, let's continue on. But yeah, this is this has got a certain amount of risk to it, this run. I'm hoping just to get up to 99 coins fairly quickly so we don't have to deal with this. I'm, th I'm thinking I can actually get there in this room. Indeed, I can. And then it's just make it to the boss and hope for the best as much as possible. I fired this in a bad location. It just, not only does it fill the entire room with brimstone, it, t it triggers so many tier effects. Like, so many. And it seems like we don't have the infinite rifts anymore, which is somewhat nice. I just kind of stay out of the way and then let the whole room die. It just takes a bit of time, is all. To... Because uh, every brimstone that hits the wall generates all these little shots. Look, I don't know how much damage this is going to end up actually doing to Mother. Because it might, it might be actually not a great thing for the Mother fight. Because if it doesn't kill her quickly, if it like hits boss DPS cap... Uh, like boss armor and doesn't kill her quickly we're gonna be in for a really long fight because um the lag is gonna just take up so much time i do like the fact that firing once just clears at any room though that is pretty fun i was hit there apparently I i'll be honest i am completely completely unwise as to how but i don't think i'm ever going to be wise as to how i get hit i'll be honest Calm down game so I can actually play. Calm yourself. Yeah, any, any room with like tight corridors and a lot of rocks is kind of bad for me in general. One worry I had is that the brimstone beams were going to push the bombs into us, but they seem to explode before that can even happen. That's not so bad. Didn't quite get to 99, but we're one off. <laughs> right, let's just see how this goes. Okay, damage-wise, that's pretty good going. I kind of need to wait for everything to subside. Parasitoid doing its thing as well, yeah. Actually, dodging is going to be very rough for us, I think. It looks like we're going to two-hit this boss, though. Oh, my God. Look at that, that shot just coming in on me. I couldn't get away. It looks like we're basically going to three-hit the boss, by the looks of it here. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Three-hit the boss. This second phase is really where I'm, I've got a lot of worry. Uh, the good thing is these sacks should stay around reasonably long enough for us to get some good hits in. I don't even know where I'm generating all these sacks and stuff from, right? Like... But yeah, situations like this... Oh god. Oh lord. I need to move around a lot for this attack and... There ain't no way I'm doing that at the minute. Oh god, none of, the, none of them bombs went towards her. I, I honestly don't know what's going on right now. 
I'm gonna get hit here, I think. I don't think there's, there's really anything I can do to stop that fact. But we might kill her before that happens. Yeah, we did. Okay, nice. <sighs> this might be the lowest frame rate mother fight I've ever done. <laughs> Quite impressive, really. <clears throat> Brimstone was a pretty good pickup there. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this one, even with the false start. We got Lucky Cat. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.